Tonight's weather is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, proudly serving Southside for 20 years. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching your forecast here. Of course, we were all hoping for a white Christmas uh, this year. Of course, looking at the models long ago, they were showing this big confidence. Then, of course, the ingredients sort of went out of whack. And sometimes that happens in the weather world. So just keep that in mind. Let you know that you're hoping for a white Christmas, expecting a cold Christmas again. Back in 2020, that's kind of where we were with this. Tonight, our lows are going to be dropping in the mid-20s for the entirety of our area with a little bit of that rain-snow mix kind of slowly coming to an end for majority of our region. Again, you will notice the winds start to pick on up uh, for a good chunk of our region. Later on overnight, we'll see another round of energy begin to move in our region, giving us a little bit of that opportunity for a little bit of rain and or snow shower activity. But again, thank will start to dwindle down as you make your way for the overnight hours. And of course, moving on ahead to uh, everybody's favorite. This is again my favorite is the ranking forecast. I'm giving tomorrow a one out of 10 just because of how downright cold it is going to be there. A high coming in at 31 with a low of five. That's not a typo. That is correct. Over the last several days, those lows have been dropping and dropping and dropping. And so I've been generous enough for you looking at the model date. I'm giving you a five degree low. Any leftover early morning snows will quickly dwindle to a very blustery and sunny afternoon. Highs again staying below freezing. We're going to be experiencing below freezing temperatures for going almost 48 to 50 hours for majority of our region. So for those of you wanting that warm weather, not any time soon we're going to begin to see that. So uh, a lot of our uh, church activities, if you have those scheduled for this upcoming weekend, do know I would highly advise you to start bundling up. Making your way now to some of our other area highs for your Friday or the weekend, rather, I guess. We'll see area wise staying in the mid 30s for Saturday and Sunday. And again, do keep in mind for Christmas, it is going to be bitterly cold and a lot of sunshine. Do know again the coldest Christmas since 2020 for our area. Again, if some of these records hold true, we may have to go back the coldest Christmas back to the 80s and 90s for some of us too. Something you're going to notice again is that those winds will start to quickly pick up in the afternoon. 20 to 40 mile per hour gust. Again, that'll take place majority of your Saturday. So if you have any Christmas festivities, if you're doing any parties, any decorating, go ahead and take all your lights and inflatables down by Friday afternoon because if not, they will all start to be blowing across your neighbor's yard and of course they don't want that too. And of course, keep in mind whenever your trash delivery day is this weekend, I think things are kind of on different schedules because of this. Uh, make sure it's tightly bunkered down out there because any of the lessons say you'll have trash, everything blown around a low of 10. There is going into Sunday morning. Merry Christmas to your right. Uh, as they say, a lot of that sunshine will do a little bit justice. We'll begin to see the winds to begin to drill down later in the afternoon on your Sunday from at 20 to 40 more so that 15 to 30 miles per hour as we continue to move on. Now a lot of you all are wondering how to get prepared for this. I was nice enough to make a quick uh, infographic here for you. You know, we are expecting the possibility of some power outages with the storm moving in this weekend. So to have your backup source, make sure you know uh, if you have uh, baseboard heating, make sure you have, uh, you know, safely use those space heaters. Of course, we don't need to be reporting on house fires during the holiday season. So please make sure you're keeping your house safe. If you have any guests over, make sure they stay warm. If the power does go out, make sure Everything's charged up. Have those backup battery um, backpacks. Of course, they may be kind of hard to get by, or maybe you get one for Christmas. I would go ahead and advise you to open that up early. Make sure you have any essential food items, water, granola bars, all those etc. stuff. And also remember to protect your pets and your pipes as well uh, during this because the possibility of those pipes freezing are pretty high with that as our temperatures are going to remain near freezing at night or dipping below the single digits with the wind chills exceeding below zero for this upcoming up weekend. So make sure you have your pipes protected. Make sure you bring your pets inside. They're about as cold as you are out there. Yes, they have fur. But make sure they're inside. And just in case of an emergency, you have to go out and make sure gasoline is full. Yes, we've been getting to see a gas price declining over the last couple of weeks. 
make sure you are having enough fuel for your car. And of course, something else I've put nice together for you is that the possibility of, you know, what are some ways to prevent your house from getting cold? I kind of talked about power outages. Some of this is kind of repetitive, but no knowledgeable knowledge anyway. Layer up, have at least three to four layers on, no matter how where you're going. If you're going to the car or back, you may think it's kind of silly, but prevent yourself from getting hypothermia and frostbite. Make sure your generators are used outdoors. A lot of the times we get those generators inside, and of course, those carbon monoxide fumes get everywhere. And then again, you have your difficulty self breathing with that matter. So keep sure uh, those generators outdoors. Make sure you are prepared for power outages. I mean, there's a potential for that. And like I said, uh, something else you saw during our interview with AAA is that make sure you have an emergency kit with you. So have all those essentials on standby. All right, that was a lot to move through, and we're going to start wrapping things up here because most of you probably don't know what the heck the rest of the week's looking like. We're a quick, quick reminder, when a weather advisory goes through uh, Friday this week, just keep that in mind, little to any snowfalls expected. That is for our friends for Patrick and Franklin County. We also have a wind chill advisory, uh, excuse me, a wind chill watch for the entire coverage area. We have a wind chill advisory also posted that'll go into effect on Saturday evening too. So again, uh, just keep that in mind. If do anything out and about and yes with the wind chill we have a wind advisory that will continue to go through the weekend remember again gust 20 40 miles per hour we have those higher on those rich top friends towards patrick county may have that with you and like i've said just go ahead and prepare for power outages at this moment you may get lucky enough and you may not lose your electricity so that'll be a good thing with that as well so uh, again like we've talked about enough for time with that uh, let's get you caught up like i said we'll reiterate the wind chill advisory just because i know a lot of you all are wanting to know what it what exactly is wind chill wind chill is basically the feels like temperature of temperatures wherever it is so if, as our temperatures at night are going to be in the single digits we can expect the feels like wind chill temperature to remain somewhere between three degrees to maybe 10 below zero in parts of our area, especially towards Patrick County, Franklin County, northern parts of Franklin County, and that'll go until New Year's Eve on that note too. So just keep in mind, yes, we are going to see a very cold Christmas. I know some of you maybe wanted to see a white Christmas. I preferably would love to see the white Christmas, but you know what? We have many, many years ahead of us for that, don't we, right? So just keep that in mind as we're going to continue to see those uh, frigid overnight lows. And maybe most of you are wondering, when are we going to get out of the Arctic freezer? Well, there is a little hope here for you on your going into next Monday. So if you're uh, celebrating Monday or oh, the day after Christmas, uh, do note that we're going to be chilly but we're not going to be frigidly cold as we were or as we will be this upcoming up weekend just because the amount of cold air is going to be in place. We're going to get a buckle of that jet stream. The polar vortex is going to begin to move its way back up north. So the northern jet stream is going to leave the cold air lock it lock it back up in Canada and of course long range models are expected to see some of these longer duration cold events moving on in. So Monday sunny out there of course the kids are out for school maybe they got motorcycle or not motorcycles but four wheelers or maybe any outdoor toy let them know it's going to be cold and make sure to charge those batteries as well because those batteries tend to die a lot. Lows dropping in the teens so not as cold as we're waking up on next Tuesday morning as a lot of us may have a few extra days off. Just do note that we'll see a mix of sun and clouds develop for our Monday in calm winds. That is the key thing to keep in mind as you are making your way in your rounds, maybe doing some of that New Year's shopping. So we'll have all that up coming up for you as we get towards next week. But just do know that it is going to be bitterly cold this weekend. We are going to definitely need uh, time to uh, get uh, any essential items. So maybe you're getting a parka, maybe you're getting a heavy coat, some snowshoes with some fur and would not be a bad idea. Just do know that you're going to be needing to dress in layers. You're going to want to just stay indoors. If you're having events like uh, some of us, majority of maybe you have family and friends you're going to this weekend, say, hey, maybe they're coming out of state or flying into North Carolina, Virginia, wherever they're coming from. Say, hey, get that a heavy coat you don't have in California and bring it over here because you're going to definitely need it inside for sure. The wind again, we'll do the re quickly recap here for tonight. Scattered possible wintry mix that'll quickly end. We'll see early morning brief shots of snow before sunrise by seven after seven, eight, nine o'clock the morning. 
morning. We'll, leave, we'll have the sun that'll be out there. We'll most likely see temperatures staying below freezing in the afternoon, dropping in the single digits at night. So if you're doing anything tomorrow, bundle up. You're going to need to just have your time wrapped and warm. Speaking of, we're going to take a quick break, making sure we're staying warm and stay tuned. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic. Hey, my name is Joyce Renee Watkins, and the reason why I chose chiropractic was because I was having some issues and went myself. And chiropractic really, really works. New clients to come in, we are running a special right now where you can actually come into the office and have an exam and seven different types of x-rays for $49. And then we will get you back in the next day and we will actually treat you and we can let you then what your insurance covers. Now you're getting seven x-rays and an exam. And the x-ray machine here is top of the line and Dr. Zentmeyer is really good. He can really read some x-rays. So I encourage everyone to come. We're located in Collinsville. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue, Collinsville, Virginia. We're across from Fenders and beside Walgreens. 